This is why I'm locking my rear end. I thought the winter was over and then, uh, you know, two more days till March. One more week of cold weather. And then we get this, like overnight, three, four inches of snow, which is not that bad to drive in. It's, the roads are pretty good, but the problem is I get stuck. If I pull in, uh, if I end up with the back wheels on this and it's hard packed, I can't get out. Just one wheel spins and uh, the other doesn't do anything, so. So I got this thing jacked up and uh, of course, my differential stopped at 90 degrees from where I want it stopped. So I gotta spin it around a bit. Looks like it's pretty clean. The magnet's got some crap on it, which we'll clean off. And this oil's really foamy, which I don't know what that means. So I spun around really easy. It's super easy to spin this around with the, both wheels back jacked up. Looks like we got a little. Uh, some little nicks in this gear, so maybe it's a good thing we're gonna weld her up. So I cover everything with an old pair of jeans, so I don't get slag on anything. So she's all welded up. If you're wondering what that is, that's my extension for my crown because it doesn't quite reach here. It's just hooked on there. Runs up. Always ground exactly what you're welding on. If you ground the axle on here, you burn up all your bearings, it's no good. Should actually take the thing out, but uh, so you see I got a bit of slag on there I gotta get off. I oh, actually got slag everywhere, but I just welded uh, welded on the outside of the uh, four gears here, and welded between the, the gears. That was a little harder than I expected. I actually don't really like this. I might uh, might cut a piece of square stock and a rectangular stock and stick it in the middle of uh, one side or the other. So uh, we did kind of a sh shitty job on the other side, but uh, a little better job on this side. Just welded with crap out of everything. This is kind of uh, if it uh, if it doesn't work, I'll be buying a. Buying a new rear end, and I'll be buying a locker next time, cause, cause I need one. This is much easier and much quicker, and much cheaper. So I thought I'd give it a try, and uh, I think it'll work. Okay, back to the crappy side here. Just thinking about all the torque this is gonna take taking a sharp corner, and. Uh, you know, we gotta just hope our weakest link is the tires on the ground, because uh, we've got two axles and uh, two four gears welded up here. And something's gotta give when you take a sharp corner, so. It's no big deal in the snow, but uh, come summertime, hot black pavement's gonna be pretty sticky. So we're gonna just fill this more up with weld here. So pulling the rod off. I got it, uh, I tagged this gear pretty good. A little bit worried about that, I think I have to get the die grinder. I also tagged this gear a little bit up there. I can't, uh, I can't get this crap off. The gear is super hardened and, uh, and of course that's in a little dish so the file doesn't even get in there. Well, I just got the die grinder and took, uh, Took that slag off, thought I'd make sure it turns freely, and it gets stuck right there. Can you believe it? That is the tiniest little piece of slag ever. I can't turn it by hand past that. So, grind that off, try again. Oh. Now we're getting stuck right about here. There's a little tiny piece of slag there. And uh, maybe this is uh, deformed a little bit. We'll have to take that down and tuck down. Man, these are some tight gears.